Did you write the report I asked you? What are you looking at? What's so funny? It's the newest issue of Idols Monthly, featuring Eeveelicious! My favorite idol ever! Eeveelicious? What kind of name is that? In, in Idols? Really? Don't you have anything better to do? That's stuff for kids. Nonsense! You just don't understand the irresistible appeal of Idols! Eeveelicious is so wonderful and amazing! She's so cute and talented and generous to her fans. Despite being mute, she made her way to the top of the industry. She's such an inspiration. I love her so much. Wait, did you say mute? Uh-huh. Her songs are beautiful. How can she be an idol when she's mute? How can she even have songs? That, that makes no sense. You just don't get how fantastically amazing she is. She's loved by millions. She's having a concert in town tonight. I have a ticket, but I'm so far away in the back, though. Oh, I wish I could meet her someday. That'd be so awesome. Don't be ridiculous. If she's as popular as you say she is, there's no way someone like that would want to be seen with nobodies like us. Excuse me. Oh my god! I don't believe it! What an unexpected yet all the convenient surprise! Can it really be? Eeveelicious! Before my very eyes! That's really her? What's a famous star like that doing in a place like this? A client? I'm Spiel! It's an honor to meet you! I'm your biggest fan! I'm member 147 of your official fan club! I have all your CDs and DVDs, action figures, posters, hats, and- Hands off! Do not soil Eeveelicious with your filthy flippers. Fans must remain at least 10 feet away at all times. Big clients means big publicity for us! So tell us, what can we do for you, miss? Well, you gonna tell us? Dude, don't be rude! I told you she was mute! Sheesh! Allow me to explain. And who might you be? I'm Perloin, Eeveelicious's agent and assistant. Her career has been booming lately, and we were very happy for her success. But lately, she's been receiving concerning letters filled with death threats. We fear someone might be targeting her life. Are you sure it's really death threats and not just some whiny, entitled fan? See for yourself. You better stop performing and retire or I'm gonna find you. Eat your guts for breakfast and make myself a winter coat with your neck fur. Yep, that's pretty life-threatening, all right. We'd like you to protect Eeveelicious while trying to find the person who wrote the letters. She didn't want to come consult you, but this is too serious to ignore. Can you do it? We shall not rest until we find this criminal! No stone will be left unturned! Nobody will go unquestioned! No alibi will be unchecked! No corner will go unsuspected! No- Yeah, I think they got it, Spiel. Leave it to Spiel and Tortic! <clears throat> Tor chicken spiel? Uh, very well. Here are two backstage passes to Eeveelicious's concert tonight. You will accompany us to investigate, but without interfering with the setting up of the show. I can't believe it! Backstage passes! This is a dream come true! Finally, good things happen to spiel! I'll be able to see how someone who has no voice can have a concert. That's the real mystery. Hey guys, have you seen my lost tail? No, we haven't seen your lost tail, Slowpoke. Bye! Bye. You are not here to fool around. Eeveelicious and I will go in from the back to avoid the fans. 
You two, go in from the front and make sure the person who wrote the letter isn't in that crowd. Get moving! That assistant sure is bossy. Look at all these losers waiting in line, not us. We've got backseat passes, baby. You're telling me all these people are coming to hear a singer who is mute? Has everyone lost their mind? Hey, Sfeel, don't you think this guy looks suspicious? He looks like he's planning something. Gasp! You're right! He must be planning to hurt Yvelicious! I won't let him! Stop! Stop right there, you fiend! What are you doing? Don't just run up to him like that! The jig is up, Crocodile! We're on to you! What? What did I do? Who are you guys? We're Sfeel and Torchic! Bestest detectives around! Torchic and Sfeel? Crap, the police! We know you sent the letters! Admit it! If you so much as set one finger on her beautiful face, I'll... I'll do something! Sfeel, we have no proof! You can't just go accusing a big scary guy like that! You'll get us in trouble! What letters? I have no idea what you're talking about! Are you accusing me of something based on my appearance? This is profiling! Just because I'm a dark type and my name has crook in it doesn't mean I'm a criminal! I'm doing nothing wrong! Oh yeah? Then you don't have a problem with writing your name here for me then? If it'll make you leave me alone! There! Happy now? Um, that's odd. The handwriting doesn't match at all. That's what I've been trying to tell you! We're terribly sorry, sir. This was all a misunderstanding. <laughs> Have a nice day. Yeah, you better be sorry! Tickets! Get your ridiculously expensive tickets! Price inflated tickets for tonight's show! Not stolen, totally legal! So this is the backstage of a show! This is so cool! Eveelicious is the best! Yeah, well, let's check out her room for traps or clues. Knock, knock! We're coming in! Excuse me, but it would be super duper cool if you could give me an autograph! Can you write it to my biggest and coolest fans, feel? What do you think you're doing? This is Evelicious's private time. She doesn't do autographs during downtime. And you, what do you think you're doing messing with her personal items? Listen, lady, how are we supposed to look for clues and find the culprit when you won't let us investigate? You can investigate without being inappropriate. These are private quarters. Uh, what's she saying? She wants to use the bathroom. I'll go with her! Don't be a pervert! There's no way! Oh no, that's not what I meant! I mean, we need to protect her, right? There are security guards all over this building. Evelicious should be safe here. There are still preparations I need to tend to. You two keep looking, but respectfully. Yes, ma'am! Hey, Spiel! Don't you think Perloin is acting strange? She came to us to investigate, but she doesn't want us touching anything or being near Evelicious. Like there's something she wants to keep away from us. Nah, she's just being very protective. I don't blame her. Evelicious is so amazing. Who wouldn't want to kidnap her? Ugh, I hope you're right. to see the show closer than any fan can! I'm the happiest feel ever! You made sure to check every attendee? Yeah, no one's suspicious, no weapons, no nothing. Now I'll finally be able to see how she does a concert with no voice. That's it for me. <sighs> At least I get to die happy. Don't forget to water my plants. 
Spiel, no! Actually, that thing isn't that heavy. It's quite light, really. It just surprised me. Don't you pull something like that again! Ow! Someone obviously sabotaged the stage so this would fall on Evilicious during the show. I thought I asked you guys to verify the stage was safe for the show. We did! I checked the stage myself and everything was secured and safe! Yeah, we verified all this stuff just before you went out earlier. Could it be that when you said you had preparations to attend to, you meant sabotaging the stage? <laughs> what? Don't be ridiculous. I would never. Ever since we got here, you've been keeping us out of the way and preventing us from doing our job properly. I think you did it. You wrote the threatening letters to Evilicious yourself because you're jealous of her success. She gets all the fame while you're just an assistant. <gasps> Say it isn't so, Perloin! Evilicious, who is so beautiful and amazing, trusted you with her career and you betrayed her! That's preposterous! I was the one who insisted we get detectives in the first place. Why would I even hire you if I was the one who did it? I've only been making sure you boys mind your manners around a lady. But you still went around my back and got an autograph while Evilicious was trying to rest for the show! No, my precious autograph! Wait a minute. This looks familiar. The heart on the eye is the same. That means... Let me see that. They are the same. <laughs> Evilicious, did you... Did you write the letter yourself? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see. Uh-huh. She's saying that she wrote that letter to herself in hopes that Pearline would make her stop being an idol. She doesn't want to do it anymore. When she said we would go into the bathroom earlier, she moved that thing so it would fall during the show. It seems she's grown tired of all the work involved with being a star, but didn't want to make her fans upset by just stopping, so she staged the whole thing so she'd have an excuse. I can understand that. Being an idol is a lot of pressure, and Purloin especially is always pushing her and making all these rules. Is that true? You don't want to be an idol anymore? Why didn't you just tell me? I'm not that harsh, am I? Fine, I get it. I guess I can be a bit too strict. Okay then, stop being an idol if that's what you want to do. I'm sure you'll always be a success at whatever you choose to be. That's so sad, but I will always support you. I'll still be your fan, whatever you do. You heard her. Kind of. Show's over. Get out of here. The idol is no more. But now I'll never know how she did it. What a ripoff. What am I going to do with my life now? Get a job like a respectable adult? No refunds! Oh, I'm just in time for the concert. So, you've gotten over your idol phase now? You're not obsessed with Evilicious anymore? No, it's okay. I hear she's happy working at the diner like a normal person now. Well, I'm gonna go donate this box of all the merchandise I collected to kids. Hey, hold on. Let me check the box first, just to make sure everything is in good condition. Can't donate broken stuff, right? Uh, okay. I'll go downtown and advertise our office then. You do that. Sure am glad you gave up that idol stuff. Detectives ain't got time for that! Uh, maybe I'll listen to the CDs before donating? To make sure they still work. And perhaps I'll watch the DVDs. Uh, for science! Yeah, for science. Oh, and that t-shirt looks brand new. Would be a shame to throw it away. These action figures are well-made, actually. And those posters. I better read the magazines. Make sure they're appropriate for kids. Maybe I'll keep those for future reference only, of course. Evilicious is actually kinda cute. Who could give that stuff away? 
Oh, and that thing is pretty nice too. 